The Solid Organ Transplant Department, we take care of heart, kidney, liver, lung, pancreas. Our department really takes care of um, all those people who are in need of life-saving transplants. All the departments put together, we have well over 100 people that are making this um, happen for our patients in this collaboration of care. It's a great group of people to work with, from the physicians, nurse practitioners, nurses, dietitians, pharmacists. It takes so many people to make this process work. Today's day and age, the multidisciplinary approach is becoming broad across the hospital. Everybody's had to collaborate from the very beginning, you know, when transplant began. So it's really that multidisciplinary approach that is in every organ, regardless. We have a very strong core of people that eases the patient into a very life-changing process. It's what we call their second, you know, their, usually their second birthday. That's how we celebrated. I'm Dustin. Today, I'm two and a half years old. My name is Myla Santos, and I'm two years old. I'm Thomas. I'm seven months old. A new lease on life is what I have. I'm able to do things that I could do when I was 30, and I feel great doing it. I have a lot to be grateful for and thankful for, for the staff here at Stanford. The team at Stanford truly understands that this is not an individual going through the journey. It takes it takes a family and it takes a caregiver. I have the honor and privilege of taking care of these patients. They are wonderful to work with. They have been through so much in their lives. They're very grateful, they're very giving, uh, they're very compassionate, and they're, and they're very, very thankful for that gift of having a second chance at life. I feel that I have a special connection with the patients because my late husband was a kidney pancreas transplant. Uh, he had the transplant for 22 years, and so I feel what the caregiver goes through and actually what the patient has been through. Because I've lived their lives, it gives me a special insight into what the transplant process is for them. It is such a rough journey for this particular population that, you know, being there and being that one voice that maybe they recognize over those few years, plus their doctor, um, you really feel you're a part of it, you know? And when somebody gets transplanted, you're like the biggest cheerleader going, yeah! <laughs> you know, it's just, it's a cool moment. This is for the staff here. I'd like to thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for everything you've done for me. You've taken care of me through all the years, through many surgeries. You've kept me alive. And most importantly, you think about my future and my quality of life for the future. Thank you so much.